Anchor House Ride for Runaways is a seven-day, 500-mile bike ride to support Anchor House, a multi-service agency in Trenton, New Jersey. The mission of Anchor House is to provide a safe haven where abused, runaway, homeless, aging out, and at-risk youth and their families are empowered to succeed and thrive. This year's ride begins in Auburn, New York, and finishes seven days later in Trenton, New Jersey. It was, uh, it was challenging, but um, you know, all in all, it was a good ride. I mean, you know, I mean, when you have uh, these gentlemen, these two gentlemen, yeah. the scenery was just amazing. Like just, just follow the lake, and it's just yeah. absolutely gorgeous. So my name is Russ Buckling. 
I've been doing the Anchor House ride for the last nine years. This is my ninth. And uh, I've been riding and raising money since 2009. I also help scout the ride uh, with Brian McLaughlin and Dr. Dave Roswald. And we make sure that the roads, the roads are safe and the hills aren't too bad and the directions get you from point A to point B. To me, the Anchor House ride is about family. My father started doing this ride back in 99. He got me on this ride when I was 18 years old. I rode his bike for the first seven years that I did the ride. Um, but I've also become family with so many of the people that I've met on this ride. Uh, it really is a culture of togetherness. We're all in this for a common cause. And to really try and make a difference in, in, with an institution that, that does fantastic work in a local community. 7.30 in the morning, we're in Auburn, New York. Temperature is 27, 27. degrees, lake effect snow. We're going to drive day one again and uh, focus on the changed section in the middle of the day. And uh, once we get to Corning, we will go on to Williamsport. So any notations will be made in the uh, tape recorder. Otherwise, we're just going to go with the original Q sheet version 1.0. Uh, crafted after December uh, scout trip. Okay. Planning for the ride for runaways is a year-long process, oftentimes in far different weather than the heat of July. As the route is being developed, the ride planning committee spends many hours checking Google Maps, making road trips to check the road surfaces and refine the route. Once the route is completed, they look for adequate places for SAG stops and hotels.
So being that I work at Anchor House, I get to see the kids and I get to interact with them. And I mean, that is the most fulfilling thing I think I've ever experienced in my entire life. It's why I decided to intern at Anchor House because I wanted that experience. And I mean, I definitely got more than I ever thought I would. Those kids are amazing and it makes this so much more easier to climb those hills. I mean, it's not hard to put things in perspective at all when you're doing it for all the right reasons and you have amazing views and amazing people and everyone is so supportive especially for a first year rider like i just didn't it, i had no idea how how many great people would be here and how amazing this whole experience would be and it's only day two so i mean i just can't wait for the rest of the week this great shirt and I thought I gotta get it in case I forget the recipe I just look down and there it is
down for it's in the past. Yeah. I remember uh, some of the ride from the, when we did it last time, and it was just as just as pretty and nice. And there's hills in any ride that you get. No, it was very enjoyable. Oh, okay. The weather was good. The company was good. And we had a great time. Hi, I'm Kathy Trulis, and I work for the Anchor House Foundation. And my main purpose is to coordinate the ride. So I am constantly asked all the time about what's it like to be able to ride 500 miles with so many people? And I just want to say that I think the riders and the support crew are really what brings it all full circle. And it's so fun to see and so exciting that they and you get so excited for the cause of Anchor House. Wednesday's ride began under the threat of a strong early afternoon storm.
As an unofficial observer to the 2019 ride, Oliver the dog kept an eye on things during the week. Have you ever seen an air-conditioned indoor sag before? It's the best ever. <laughs> the indoor sag at this church is so good, it makes me want to convert. <laughs> We got 35 miles to go and 2,300 feet of climbing left. <laughs> A pair of good news. Oh, yeah, that's right.
on the Facebook that it was hot and humid, but um, compared to, uh, I was underselling yesterday because today was hot and humid. I'm happy to be supporting Anchor House and I'm happy that this is day six. It's been a long day. Um, I've skidded uh, Blue Mountain and in the Poconos I always think that it's not really Colorado, it's not uh, New England, it's just kind of like a wimpy mountain, but starting at the bottom of Blue Mountain and cuddling to the top of Blue Mountain, they've got a, a hell of a fine vertical there at Blue Mountain. We'd like to salute the support crew for the 2019 Ride for Runaways. Mechanics on the ride are Gareth Muchmore and Andrew Sifris from REI at the Mercer Mall in Princeton.
You enjoyed the whole thing? The whole thing. Uh -huh. Everything from the beginning, the sweating, the muscles that hurt, everything. <laughs>
Thank you, Mr. Hogan, for an inspired lifetime. Show me the way to go home. 